So guys, what is up? This is Anshu, and today we will talk about the path param and query param example. Okay. So in this example, you can see firstly we have a path param. Okay. So this is our path param. So you can see our uh, the API. After the API, we have uh, slash posts and slash one. So this one represent its post ID. Okay. So unique ID or something else. So okay. So it specify a particular target. Okay. In the resource. So we want some specific ID one resource. Okay. But here in the query param, you can see uh, we have a user ID is equal to one. Okay, so any user can have multiple posts. Okay, so at in each post, uh, post gives all the resource, uh, the post which has the user ID one. Okay, so just run the code. Okay, as you can see in the this uh, output, uh, the first output for the path param is uh, exactly one which uh, has a content ID one. Okay, but here you can see that the loads of uh, array of resources. Okay, a lot uh, array of document we can say, and here you can see like uh, all the post which contains the user ID one. Okay, this is about our path param and the query params. Okay, it will uh, meet. in next video till then bye bye